To download and install WordPress, first of all you are required to download ZAMP, a local web server. Type, download ZAMP in Google and you will be taken to apachefriends.org. I am downloading the latest 64-bit version for Windows. It isn't a huge file, so should be downloaded fairly quickly. It will appear in your downloads folder, so double-click the ZAMP icon and it will begin the quick install. Click through the usual application install process, using the defaults. It will begin unpacking and you will be ready to go shortly. Once this install process is completed, ZAMP will fire up with a simple-to-use interface that is an admin area for various aspects. We are going to be using the Apache server and MySQL modules for this tutorial, so click start on both of those. ZAMP Auto creates a directory within your C drive, so navigate there, then go into htdocs, it's where we are going to place our folder for WordPress. Run a quick check to see that the Apache server is online by typing the loopback address 127.0.0.1 into your browser. The next stage is what we are actually here for, installing WordPress. Visit wordpress.org and clock on the Get WordPress button. It will default to the latest version, so download that. At the time of this filming, it is 6.7. Double-click on the zip folder and begin the extraction process. First of all, just copy the WordPress file over to the ZAMP HT Docs folder, as we are going to extract it here. Paste it in and then right mouse click the file and extract here. It is quite a large file, so will take a little while to appear. The WordPress 6.7 folder now appears, but we have to go into this folder and copy the actual WordPress folder within. This folder contains the actual contents of WordPress, so this needs to be directly within the htdocs folder. I have renamed mine to gman wordpress. Heading back to ZAMP, we must now configure a MySQL database. Click on the admin button and click on new on the left hand side. Name your database anything you like, but I keep it the same as my folder name for housekeeping. Click Create and the database appears on the left-hand menu. As the database has been created and the WordPress folder is in htdocs, if you navigate to localhost forward slash your folder name, you will see the admin area of WordPress. We can begin to set up WordPress by following through the easy-to-follow guide. I select English and move on. We will need the database name shortly and to set up some details about the database. Just fill in the name you previously created, the username for now, we can just put as root, and the rest of the details can stay as default for the moment. As you can see, it is a relatively straightforward setup wizard. On submitting those details, just go to the next section where we complete the configuration. This page is for your admin of WordPress, so call your website whatever you like here. I have named mine, Gman Hack Me. The username and password are for logging into the site. After that, just fill out your email address. The search engine visibility doesn't apply here as this is a local installation. Finally, click Install WordPress and it will complete the process. It's now done, so all that is left is to click on Login and you will reach the backend administration area of WordPress. Put your username and password that you configured during the setup and you will see, the menu on the left is where you configure your site. I am also a web designer, so I would configure my site here, but as this is going to be for ethical hacking, I will leave my site as default for now. And we are done. Thanks for watching this video today and we hope you found it easy to follow. We will be hacking this site in a future video. Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you again soon.